What's up, gang? Coach Nate here from Alpine CrossFit going over another Chase and Stimulus. This one's going to be a little bit different. So we're coming up on a taper week, and that's because we've been building for the last cycle towards Memorial Day Murph. That's on uh, last Monday of May this month. And basically what we thought about was that we're coming into competition season. A lot of people are doing summer competitions, weekend competitions, qualifiers, and so on and so forth. So we thought it might be a good idea to go over what might best serve you during a taper week. So here we go. During a taper week, it's really important to remember that the work has been done, right? There is no uh, extra uh, strength to be built or endurance to be built in a week's time necessarily. Now, having said that, there are things that you can preserve and things you can do for your body to make them feel optimal and better going into a competitive competition or competitive environment. Uh, first things first, keep your CNS awake and active, but not fatigued. So that means, uh, Relatively uh, sub-maximal weights, 75, 80, 85% <clears throat> for lifts um, and for some strength movements. Basically keeping yourself snappy, keeping yourself relatively familiar with the heavy loads that you've put on your body in the past training cycle. And uh, just not to the point of fatigue to where you start compromising technique or overly doing it to where that fatigue sets in and stays neurologically for a longer duration than you'd like for it to. Um, Moderate blood flow and breathing. None of your workouts should be going hardcore burner. In fact, this is a great time to do um, very strength biased stuff and very aerobic biased stuff. Should be smooth, should be a uh, flow state, if you will. You wanna be moving uh, super well. You want your body to feel optimal going into that competition because even if it's a competition for fun or even if it's a workout, a community workout for fun, there is a heightened level of stress that comes with that. And with that heightened level of stress, if you've already beaten your body up and pushed it to the max on certain thresholds, instead of taking it back, working about, worrying about uh, more flow, then it's just compounding factors of stress on your body. Uh, lastly, keep movements familiar enough, but with volume relatively low. So what does that mean? It means that if you're going into a competition workout, I'm sorry, a competition that weekend, or if you're going into a benchmark workout of sorts, you want the movements that are in those workouts and, and combinations to be familiar. So you can practice segmented versions of those workouts. You can practice um, f uh, variations of strategy, but in no way, shape, or form should you try to amount to the exact volume that those movements are going to be tested necessarily, mainly because there's no need. You have the base built for you. You've probably, if you got the workouts in enough time, have tested them before, or you've tested variations of them. So now's the week just to practice that flow, practice that skill of competing in a functional fitness workout. Um, if you can keep those thoughts in mind, your body over the week will stay awake, it'll stay aware, it'll feel better come game time, or uh, competition time, or wad time, and uh, overall your body's just gonna be way more prepared to handle the stress and volume and intensity that those workouts have been known to put on you. So, if you have any questions or wanna chat about taper weeks or upcoming competitions, feel free to shoot me an email, nate at alpinecrossfit.com.